This is Heinz Hornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. With this short video I will demonstrate how to install the Linux version of Felicitas PCB Sim. For this I have downloaded the installation file and the first thing I have to do is I have to allow to execute it. So I make a right mouse click on the installation file, choose properties, permissions and tick execute, allow execution file as program. That's it. Then I open a terminal, navigate to the directory where the installation file is located and I call it by just um, typing dot slash and the name of the file. It asks me for the sudo password. Here we go. And then it complains that um, it has not found an Eagle installation. Um, and I did not request to install Eagle, so um, uh, there, there would be no Eagle on the system left. So um, it recommends to restart with command line switch minus E, which I'm doing right now. Making this a bit larger here. So now it is uh, happier. So. Um, it has a number of command line switches. Um, minus um, capital letter E is um, um, says that it will install Eagle. A small minus P means that it, that it does not install 32-bit packages. Uh, this is not recommended since these packages are requ uh, required for the copy protection device. Minus E in uh, small letters is the installation directory of Eagle. Minus i um, is the installation directory of Felicitas PCB sim, and minus d means it does not create desktop icons. So um, if we just call it with a capital letter E, it will install Eagle, uh, PCB sim, and the desktop icons. And this is um, the summary it gives out here in installation configuration. The, the installation directory of Eagle, the installation directory of PCB Sim. It will install Eagle, it will install the required 32-bit packages, and it will create icons. So this is good. I'm pressing yes. And now the whole installation process is fully automated. So um, it just takes a, a bit of time, depending on your internet connection, to download all the files. And after that, the installation is finished. Um, I will not watch this now, um, so I pause the video for a moment. So the installation has been finished. Um, the uh, directories have been created. Uh, Eagle has been installed and PCB sim installed. And also the desktop icons have been created. So I'm starting PCB sim now with a double click on it. Um, this will take a moment for the first time because the copy protection device is uh, installing itself. Then um, PCB Sim at first scans all the libraries and uh, creates a search index and it displays the demo restrictions if you have installed a demo version. That's it. So PCB Sim is happy and now um, if I want to start Eagle it asks me about the license. If I say run as freeware it says I should do this as administrator, which I'm doing. So I'm typing sudo opt eagle bin eagle. Here we go. Now I say again run as freeware. I can already close eagle again and start eagle. It says um, it uh, wants to create a home directory for me. Yes, I should do so. And so that it was. This finalizes the installation. We have now installed Eagle and PCB Sim, and um, both uh, systems are running. And um, well, the next would be a, um, the next video in the line would be simulation overview. So thanks for watching and bye for now.